Hello friends, today we will see the isometric view when front view and right hand side view is given. Again here you will find non isometric surface at the same time hole in it. So uh, front view and side view it looks simple but one of the typical example of isometric view that we will see. So first we will prepare the box for that length is required it is directly given 54 width in the side view we can have 80 and height is 90 with these three dimensions easily we can mark or we can draw the isometric box first mark the height axis which is vertical one then next axis which is going to be length one so it will be from the origin length so it is going to be parallel to width it is going to be parallel to width and third axis length is towards left third axis it is going to be length one and intersection of this three axis it is going to be origin it is going to be origin then after that mark length width and height length is towards left from the origin and it is how much it is 54 then 10 20 30 40 50 54 will be at this place length is 54 width is 80 and height 90 height is going to be 90 90 means 20 20 20 20 20 80 plus 10 90 this is 90 and once we mark uh, remove this vertical line with the help of eraser up to the perfect height only this please uh, remember this neatly and then so length we have marked draw the vertical line height is more that's why you can mark the line like this similarly on this side also you can mark like this then from the height parallel to length and line parallel to width once we mark this then from this intersecting point again line parallel to width and from this line parallel to length so length is 54 width is 80 and height is 90 such isometric box is the initial phase once we draw the isometric box again i'll suggest in the front view also some portion is missing at the same time in the side view is also it is missing but for taking the cut of the isometric box always such cut is more easier triangular cut means this portion it is missing in the side view so whatever this part is there so that we can remove that we can remove from this box itself and how we can remove so whatever this it at the bottom in the side view it is 80 and at the top it is 38 then first you mark whatever this 80 is there mark its center it will be useful later on correct this is the center and from this it's not 20 19 19 on both sides so this is 19 and on this side also it is 19 so this portion only we have to keep this portion we have to keep and the remaining we have to remove it means from this or before that you can join these two points this line and similarly from this point we have to remove it so this triangular portion this triangular portion throughout width we have to cut it means from this point mark this line like this similarly from this point mark line like this means if you see it neatly see this portion we have to cut completely and how we can cut it here is it
correct this portion has been removed so that back side edge is hidden but we'll have to mark this edge so this edge will be parallel to this line now see the basic shape whatever we found outer shape in the side view that we have got now even if if you see the front view in the front view also this portion as well as this portion is not at all at that place so how we can cut it so this is the frontal direction then for cutting it what we have to do so we have to leave 20 from upper side 20 from this side but now all these three lines whatever we are having now these are non-isometric lines we cannot mark the distance on non-isometric line then the best part is what so from this midpoint join this vertical line it will help us mark the vertical line and its height is going to be 90 so over this 90 mark 20 from lower side 20 from upper side this 2020 and first shift this on this non isometric lines so this is non isometric line as well as this is also non isometric line so on this surface so it is below 20 it is above 20 like this in the front view mark this surface so these marked lines are isometric so because it this is parallel to line this is parallel to width correct and now here we can have those rectangular cuts how we can have the rectangular cuts so this is the frontal direction we have to leave 18 so 54 means 18 from 20 and throat cut we have to get so how we can mark see it we'll mark 18 and once we mark 18 again later on 18 is required on this side also so i'll mark this is 18 then first we can have the cut on this side line parallel to this this we have to cut completely up to the top and from this we have to leave just z like shape so from this we have to cut this up to the bottom this up to the bottom and when we are taking this cut throughout its width when we are looking from the front view this rectangle is being cut like this so all this portion we have to remove similarly on this side this portion we have to remove and in this problem the scale is what so which portion we are removing that if you understand so you will understand uh, you can solve this problem in very simple way yeah. now see it this portion i'll remove directly from the box it is 18 and its depth is up to 20. it has been removed now so we get some additional edges how we can mark those edges so back side also i'll remove so we get that chair shape so 
so we get this dead shape this has been removed it has been removed we don't have to do anything from the back side but from the front side so what we have to do uh, this line and this line will have same length because these two lines are matching in the side view then how we can mark it so whatever this length is there so this length over here it is 70 plus little bit more than 70 so i'll mark the same length because in the side view it is matching perfectly it is this much and once we mark this then see that from this if i mark this parallel line so it should match with this correct and it is matching and simply at the end we'll have to join these two corners so this corner will be somewhere here So if you follow this procedure, it is very simple to draw the isometric view of this object. Except that wall, everything is finished. Then your task is what? Make it dark. So these are the light lines. How we are going to make it dark? First mark all the lines parallel to width. It is one. It is second line. It is third line. Fourth. So these are the lines like this. Then parallel to length. Then finally, we have to mark the parallel lines to this. It is dark. it is the isometric box now only one thing is remaining that hole and for marking the hole what we have to do before that one edge is remaining that hole is in this surface correct so only it is in the length of 18 18 mm thickness first mark its center this center so how we can mark this center then for that what we have to do from the midpoint from the midpoint of this actually it is 38 means we have to mark 18 19 and from that 19 mark the vertical line correct uh, it is going to be 70 because up to this we have left 20 so it is going to be 70 and from upper side at a distance of 45 perfectly 45 10 20 30 40 45 huh. mark the center once you mark the center it is in vertical and parallel to width so this is the line parallel to width so here you will have to prepare the rhombus then what is the procedure of preparing the rhombus in the compass you have to take the radius it is going to be 18 so 18 mm in the compass you have to take it is going to be 18 and with the help of it perfectly put the compass at the center and then 
cut the arc on this lines so on this line on this line on upper side and over here correct once we get this then only we have to draw the vertical and line parallels to length so this is the vertical line so here also again vertical line and line parallel to width horizontal so we get the proper rhombus and use the four center method for four center method earlier i have explained again these are the two centers and simply from these two centers we have to join the midpoint of opposite side means from this center how we can join the midpoint of opposite side say from this join the midpoint of opposite side similarly from the center on right hand side join the midpoint of opposite side then again with this center again midpoint of opposite side similarly from this center midpoint of opposite side now we get the four centers once we get four centers then use the compass keep the compass at this place then in the compass take the radius up to the midpoint of opposite side just check it is perfectly matching means our center is right from this midpoint to this midpoint leave it then shift the center at this place with the same radius mark this then shift the center this is the ellipse now we have to we have to shift actually center of this portion of this elliptical part by 18 by 18 in the direction of in the direction of length then how we can shift it by 18 so which is the thickness of this and keep the compass over here take the radius equal to this much shift this center at this which has been shifted by 18 and whatever the portion which is inside it again perfectly so this curve will be up to this point means from this it it is going to change little but but it is going to be very lengthy so we can mark that hole like this so it is what the isometric view of this given object here actually box completely we are removed so if you have to give the dimensions for this object then again roughly we have to draw the box and then for that box give the dimensioning because if we don't remove the box this problem you will find difficult one means while drawing if you are removing the line it is always better so it is the isometric view of this two orthographic views i hope that uh, you will like this procedure of solving this example thank you